Okay, greetings everybody, and welcome back to Series Curious of Edges and Astral Engineering. It's been a long time since I made a video, and I want to apologize for that because, I don't know, recently I've started a lot of Minecraft series where I only played for a couple of episodes and then kind of just abandoned them without updates or anything. Uh, I kind of feel terrible for that because, you know, some people might enjoy the series and... At least I should probably make some update videos or something, announce them when I decide to put a series on hold or something like this. So my apologies. Why did I stop playing this? Couple of reasons, really, and I'll talk about this while I just run around here gathering a ton of oak wood because I want to try out something. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of just several reasons all overlapping at the same time causing me to stop playing this. Uh, one big one is that I just got burnt out of Minecraft once again. Happens a lot. You know, I was working on this pack and playing this pack. I was working on my serious pack, which is like the big one with progression and stuff. Um, there was another pack we, uh, or I say we, Morad and I worked on. It's like a Stormcraft uh, pack for 1.10 when the beta came out, the Stormcraft beta. That pack is also, also kind of done. I just haven't really uploaded it to Curse. It's something I should do. Um, and yeah, I. I I don't know, I was like, you know, modding myself, like creating mods and helping out someone with a mod, like adding some craft trigger support to something. And it just like was too much, I guess. I just burned myself out once again. It happens all the time. I need to take it easy, but nope, always have all these ideas that I want to work on. Uh, that was one of the reasons. Another reason was like, we were kind of at a point in this pack. Well, it's only, what, three episodes or so, something, but... I felt like I was at a, at a point in this pack where I kind of just wanted to start building a proper base and deciding on what I wanted to do next. Um, immersive engineering was something I wanted to start, just something you know that could help us in the long run. And we have like this, uh, these like wooden platforms somewhere over there where I build most of my stuff on. And it just doesn't like fit the theme of like you know immersive engineering stuff or even the astro sorcery stuff. So. You know, I, I, I kind of would need, or I kind of would want, I should say, two different style of bases. One for the Astro Sorcery stuff, and one for the uh, Immersive Engineering stuff, because both of them are pretty different. Astro Sorcery I would probably put up on a mountain where we had our temple. At the same time, we scouted out that other location near that uh, desert and savanna that was kind of cool. And they had like a nice little starlight patch there as well. But I just didn't know what to build. Like, I... I just had no idea, like no creat creativity at all. Um, I looked up a lot of different things like, you know, what other people may build or just like Google some Minecraft pictures of certain styles that may help me get inspired, but it just didn't anything, like nothing stuck out really for me. So I so I didn't really had any idea what to build, um, uh, re you know, in either for like immersive engineering or astro sorcery. And so I kind of, you know, that kind of like put me on hold. I was like trying to figure this out. Um, another other smaller reason maybe was that during this time, there was this drama going on with Elucent, who the, uh, who is the guy who made uh, Embers and Roots and some other mods. He had some sort of, I don't know what, a moment of weirdness where he took down his mods, um, kind of like from Curse. It was at a time where I just finished implementing most of his mods into my progression for the other pack, the serious pack. And them not being on curse means that I wouldn't be able to use them in the mod pack. So it was like, wait, now I need to probably remove them again. Because who knows if he's going to upload them again. Because it's not the first time he's done this. He seems to have these like moments of whatever it is. Where he just decides to take down all of his mods and stuff. They came back later. So they're back there. But I just... I don't want to deal with that stuff, so I just decided to not use uh, his mods anymore, even though there are good mods, like Embers is great and stuff, Roots as well, but it's just like, especially when you work on a mod pack, it's annoying when someone just is so instable, unstable, whatever, and just, you know, decides to take them down. Um, but obviously we don't have Illusions mod in here, but health fire pvp or something the guy who made astro sorcery he seems to be good friends with elucent and at the same time when this stuff with elucent went down uh hellfire kind of posted some things where it almost sounded like he was going to do the same 
he changed the licensing on all of his mods to, you know, in a way that people can't uh, take his source code and re-release the mods in case he doesn't want that mod to ever be uh, available again. Uh, which is what people did with the Lucent's mod, like just when he took them down, people forked his, like, you know, his source code so that they could, if they wanted to, re-release it as, like, you know, Ember's unofficial or something like this, but uh, he also changed his license later. But anyway, so there was just, like, a lot of this drama going on, it was frustrating, and I don't know, just put me off from, like, using those guys' mods, but, um, it, they're still good mods, I still want to check out Astro Sorcery, so... I guess here we are again. So my plan for this is, I, I don't know how much I'm going to be interested in this again, how much I'm going to be playing this. There is another mod pack I'm kind of curious in already. Um, actually, there are two. Like, one that, that someone else made and one that I want to make. Um, the the one that someone else made is Seftech uh, Ages, which probably most of you have heard by now. It's a pretty big mod pack made by Dacosto. He has been working on this for over a year or something like this crazy. Um, I watched his like live streams sometimes of making the pack. He had like lots of his stuff is very similar to how I wanted to make a pack with like the kind of progression and uh, not being able to swim in resources necessarily, just like having a sort of scarcity, a scarcity or just a demand for all the resources you gather uh, and just a slower progression overall. And uh, so, like, a lot of that kind of helped me out in my pack as well, just seeing his, like, kind of craft trick scripts and, on, and so on, blah, blah, blah. So, but that's kind of a pack I might want to check out at one point. It's pretty big. It's probably a pack that takes a long time. But, you know, might just be something I want to check out. Maybe even on stream. I haven't been streaming in a long time either, but maybe that's something that gets me back into it as well. Um, so, that might be something we, we, we might check out on the... Oh, someone died on the uh, on the channel here in the future. Uh, I'm also thinking maybe I'll set up a server for it. I don't know yet. I don't want to make promises. It's just something that's been on my mind because uh, I do miss playing with people. I think I'm. I think I enjoy multiplayer Minecraft more than I do in uh, single player. Even if it's just me being in the middle of nowhere, just the fact that there's other people you can like chat with and you know people are playing at the same time and making progress and working on things together even. Uh, just is very motivating and fun to me. Um, but the other pack is like something I'm working on. It's I've been playing Sea of Thieves a lot. It's like a new pirate game that came out, and that kind of inspired me to make uh, like a tiny pack. I say tiny, but usually my packs tend to be way too big. Just a tiny pack that I want to check out, but it's nothing I'm like really like. Oh, I'm gonna do this. It's just like an idea. I want to mess around with it, see how far I can take it, and. You know, if it turns into a pack, it turns into a pack. If not, then not. So, those are kind of like the ideas. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know how much I'm going to be playing this. All it depends on, like, you know, if I burn myself out again, how much I have fun playing this, because I am i don't want to play this if I don't enjoy it. It's just like, you know, what's the point? It's supposed to be fun. Um, so yeah, we shall see. I also made a change to this pack. I disabled that mobs can spawn on the surface. So at night time, you probably noticed that while I was chopping trees. I know, very interesting content. This is more like an update as well, that video, but um, there were no mobs, so they can only spawn below Y level 60, is something I do in a lot of packs. I may have mentioned this at the beginning of this pack, that I was going to do this, but decided against it at one point, because I felt like I didn't have any like risk, but at this point, I just want to make my life easier, and I just, <laughs> I just want to like get through things a little bit in a more chill way, you know? So, we shall see. Maybe I'll enable it again in the future, but... Now that I chopped down a bazillion trees, and my axe is actually almost broken, that's cool. Maybe I should just use it up. I just made this axe too, enchanted it. Uh, actually, I should keep it then maybe because it's enchanted. I was going to make a, um, you know, Astro Sorcery axe because I don't know if I showed this, but I did have like this pickaxe and I enchanted it with efficiency 5. Like these can get the highest level of uh, enchanting enchantments right away. And also the sword. This pickaxe is insane, man. I've been... I actually did, like, a bunch of things off camera since the last episode. Like, several hours. Like, just digging. But, like, this thing is, like... It's pretty good. It's Actually, it's not so good on a cobblestone, it seems. <laughs> Let me go check double... Uh, quickly here. Yeah, look, on stone, it's, like, much faster. Oh, look, some uranium that I don't need for anything. But, yeah, pretty cool. So, I was thinking about making an axe, too. And I did start work on that. I had three really good crystals. But I ended up breaking them all by accident, so now I don't have any crystals whatsoever, I don't think. So I have to like find them again. 
Yeah, I didn't want to bother with that. All right. Okay, so now that we have a ton of things, way too many saplings and everything, but it's okay. I'll, I'm sure I'll find a use for them eventually. Stump them into here for now. Yeah, we had like this, um, I don't know, like a tribal kind of style going with the base here. I like the style, but I just uh, I don't have, I just don't know how to incorporate this with like, let's say, immersive engineering. Because some of these things are big, I need some room, and it's very like techy, so... Um, I mean, I could have maybe made more of these platforms and just put these things on top, but I don't think it would be so nice. So, something I saw... You know what? Let me go repair my pickaxe and I'll be right back. All right, all repaired. Something I saw the other day when I was... Lo I was looking for, like, pirate themed buildings uh, related to my other pack I was thinking of. And I came across this video, and unfortunately I don't remember what it was, what it was called. If I can try to find it again, I'll post it in a comment... Uh, in a in the description, but uh, I don't remember who posted it. It's not its not one I ever like followed or anything. It was like a new person to me. Um, I probably liked it or something and might be able to find it, but he was, I think the idea of his video was also that uh, people may um, burn out from building, not have any ideas and stuff, and he was talking about this like grid pattern base building system. So basically you lay out everything in a 5x5 five five, and then you create yeah, like these little houses. He was, you know, making these like 5x5 five five houses here. Very simple Minecraft ones. They look very boring, very flat, something you technically should avoid in Minecraft. Um, but, you know, it's just for like, it's quick to do. It gets you maybe into a building mood and you can still like decorate them with details and stuff. So it doesn't have to stay like this. We could, you know, for example, I don't know, uh, just maybe take out this here, like a piece of a plank, and instead of having just a plank that you put a stair down, just to give it a more interesting looks or something, right? Maybe even put down some random trapdoors. I don't know, just make it look something more interesting. But the point is, at the beginning, you, you just work with these like little very basic uh, layouts to just make progress, you know, to just get something done and then later you decorate them and you can do some pretty cool stuff with this. And because because everything is on like a 5x5, five five, they kind of puzzle together very well. So I want to check this out. I want to give it a try. I never tried it. I figured, you know, I have a I have a building blockage, blockade, whatever it's called. Um, although I do kind of like the style over there, but uh, we'll give this a shot. So I, lay, I built this platform here first. Great job. Falling down there. Like this 555 area, and this is aligned with this mountain wall over here. Now, it's not perfect central because it's... What is it? One, two, three, four... No, it's five blocks. Is it centered? It should be aligned with this block here. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, it should be a relative centered because I wanted to build like a hanging bridge, right? That goes over there and then somehow goes up to the mountain. So, I figured this is the starting point where we like eventually like, you know, build out the, the bridge. However, we're going to do it. Uh, did I make the... I did not. There's like I have a mod in here that lets you create a bridge. Let me go and see if I made this. I feel like I made it. Oh, I remember now. I did that, but then I had that rollback, right? Because I think I was constructed in this pack before. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's why I don't have it anymore. Anyway, it's like a it's like a gun that lets you build like a hanging bridge. So we might use that, or we might build our own. I haven't decided yet. Um, they look pretty cool, but I don't know. Maybe our own design might be nicer. So we're gonna try, we're gonna do a bit of building here. We're gonna try to do this like five by five thing. And like I said, the good thing is it's really fast and you know, it's quick It's quick to do. That's why I got a bunch of these oak locks just to use this. Oak is not my super favorite uh, uh, block, but it's what we'll, we'll, what we'll go with for now. And yeah, like I said, you lay out everything in these like five by five grids. Now you can see this is one, two, three, four, five. So this is the structure you go with. And then the top bit here is actually part of the next layer already, but it's just like to make it a bit more interesting. You just build, you can build like a fence up there. Don't have any on me, but um, we'll do this eventually. Now, thinking about this though, most of the ground is on this level. Well, it kind of dips down here. Uh, I probably should raise this by one. Start this on this level, or maybe even. Because I kind of like how this is sitting on, you know, these support beams you can run underneath. I uh, was thinking maybe we should do it here too, but uh, I'm not sure. Not sure. Uh, I mean, we can always change the height too. As long as it's in the same grid, it's not too bad. Let's just go with this. Let's just go with this. It will work. We'll make it work. 
uh, and I do have cobblestone, right? Yeah, so it's basically like, like this. And I, you know, I don't have a plan for what I want to do here. And we can also do like slabs here for the floor. And then the ceiling would be this here. Right. And you could either, you could do it like this. So the, the top is flat. Do you have any ladders on me? I don't. I have got ladders. Yeah, so you could make the... Uh, I got a lot of these 3D ladders. You can make the platforms align with the top here like this. Or we could also, you know, lower this by one. So it's like a little bit sunken in from the top. I might like this more because I don't know if I like this, the lock, the half lock sticking out at the bottom. Like if we do something like this and then just like put this back. I just like that this is quick, you know, it's almost like a prototype laying out what your base should look like. And then later you can decorate it. I don't have more fences than this. So that's all I have. Um... <laughs> This might be kind of cool too. The only problem with this is now, if we build like a second house here, the next platform would be on this level as well, right? And then we have this like hot, this lock sticking out and we always have like this bump. So I don't know if that's good. I'd, I'd like this more where it's like, you know, we're like a little bit sunken in. At the same time, this would give us more view over the place, but yeah, okay. Let's raise it by one. I don't know. I'll think about this. Maybe we can even like mix and match it, you know? doesn't always have to be the same um so yeah we'll just keep it here for now okay you know it's not quite, eh. mm, yeah i guess it's not bad i guess i'll, I'll get used to it <laughs> so something like this right now i made this first because like i said i wanted to align this with the bridge and i also made this stuck out a little bit so that we could maybe put down some towers here now i built this there which i probably shouldn't have because Assuming like this is, uh, is this the same level? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Again, this block is actually the first one of the next layer. Uh, but yeah, now this is where the bridge is gonna start and we're gonna walk over and you have like these things hanging over. So it would be kind of nice to have a tower on the side maybe. So we probably should have a tower on this side. So probably shouldn't have built that house there. But, uh, I mean, we can always change it. And we're just going to use cobblestone for the bottom layer. So that it looks like there's some some sort of structure, structural support. Uh, like this, right? Sure. And then, ouch. Let's put this inside. Now, I don't know what kind of tower, what a tower would look like, really. I'm not good at building towers. I don't think I've ever built a tower. But it could be pretty much just the same again, right? Like... We should just really try to stick within like these uh, these limitations that we give ourselves here of like five by five and then somehow make it work, you know? So like you could have your wall here, right? Or you could just leave this open if you want like a double house like this, right? And just replace this with oak. Uh, but I'm actually going to take down this bit here, I think, so I can have like a nice tower on this side. All right, just took down the walls. I mean, we can remove this later too, maybe. Like, this could be an entrance, for example, into the base. Like, there could be, like, a platform here, right? Um, but again, we would we would probably keep this 5x5 five five here. we we'll just replace some of those blocks. But let's just do it like this. So, the tower will be here. Um, probably don't want a window on this side. This could actually become a door at this point, right? Because it's going to lead to the outside here. And then we have... Let me see how we're going to do this. The, I, I think the height is not too um, important to have the same. Like we can build longer buildings as long as it's within the same grid. That should be fine. So I'm thinking here we could use um, iron bars and we could even replace this with smooth uh, with uh, stone bricks maybe. Would probably work better for tower kind of build, you know. So let's see, open this up. Oh, got to hold shift. Otherwise I'm going to take down the entire building. It's kind of a bit of a downside with this like mod we have that takes down entire trees. Almost better to use something like Vein Miner where you can just hold down a button. Uh, but it's okay. Uh, try to think how I want to do this. So, you know, this is like slightly higher than the other buildings right now. Um, and I feel like we need, you know, we would need a way to get up. I mean, we could just have a ladder in the middle, I suppose. You know, it doesn't matter what we put in the middle or anything. If we just put this here... And we have ladders on the side. People can just climb up, you know, should be fine. Should probably eat something so I don't die here. So maybe, you know, since we have like windows there, that's where the door goes. And we need one block there. Um, let's see, we could have like a several, a second layer uh, level. 
Uh, so most of these, let me put down, where would this level be here? It's kind of the important bit here to know. Uh, one, two, three. So this level would be here, right? This is where normally the roof is. So I think we can just align this with the same style. We can just put the planks here, maybe. Have this open for the ladder. And then we can have like another le level on here. Okay, so there's a second level. And then, you know, later we would put like a tower kind of thing up here. Um, maybe, let me see. Maybe if we do this. I don't know, like I said. It's, you know, I've never built a <laughs> tower really. And this is supposed to be a very simple style. But I kind of like what we had. Was to, like we could even just keep it. As simple as possible so this is similar to how how it would be there then we have the fences here uh and we can have you know like let's say there's fences here you can have these fences go up a few things and then we put like a pointy roof on top or something you know and actually let's remove this torch and we'll, you will come out to here so this roof would actually be uh you know what this is like a tower thing Let's do what I wanted to do, like put this down a little bit. And then we can raise this to, to like the top or something. And then, you know, you have like a little output, uh, outlook thing here. So nothing, nothing amazing, but you know, something. Uh, and again, it just fits in this 555. Five, five. Again, it's like, the, it's such a simple, <laughs> boring style, right? Like it's very basic. Uh, I probably would put maybe locks in here too or something to break this up a bit but we should see uh, we shall see uh so then here if we consider this to be an opening we uh, we could keep the window there so we could do like uh, let's see what was it one two three four five so it would be till here you know this will connect again like so and then get rid of these cobblestone things here and we could just put down stairs maybe you know because this is like the entrance to this base. Whoops. Not like this. Cool thing is because these are half steps, we could put down some um, lights below. And they would like shine through there as well. Let's just like, let this like dig this out a little bit. Have some more room. And let's put this back. You know, a little bit of an entrance. Again, this should actually come out a bit. Uh, one more block. So it doesn't look quite as boring. You know, like this. We can put something on top. Um, yeah, I feel like we need to use locks here too, but we shall see. So then that goes into the middle, remove these things, because the floor should just be oak, you know, just the same kind. And we can change this up too, of course. I uh, didn't mean to do that, but maybe that's kind of cool. You know, maybe, eh, probably not. <laughs> probably want to stay on this level. Just thinking maybe like lower there or something. Uh, tower there, so let's see, what else could we do here? So, you know... I mean, we wouldn't necessarily need a second tower, but we could also, instead of like, you know, how this is one tower, we could on this side build the same tower, but then have a building on the side here that just goes over onto this side. Uh, we could also, let's see, let's just go this way. All right, I had to take down a portal because it's in the way. Okay, so I put down a bunch of locks more so we can have that grid going here. So one thing I could think of is, let me see, so... You know, this should be like more like a main road or something. So like, you know, this will like branch off or something. And then later on it goes this way as well, of course, to the to the uh, uh, bridge over here. I'm so good at putting down these slabs. It's unbelievable. And so we can say, okay, over here, it's going to be a house, you know. So I just put down the cobblestone again, super quickly. So it, again, we're just going to put down a bunch of things and then we decorate them eventually. Okay, you know, quick building here. I would probably replace the floor with something else. Now I think about this because it's too much oak. It's like oak, 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 oak. Might be nice to have a darker floor, maybe spruce or something. You know, we can we can replace this eventually. It's no big deal. Um, so that goes up there. So I kind of want to have like a, a, a ladder. Oh, not ladder. What's it called? A stair somewhere. So I think the way they did that in the video. Let me see if I can replicate this here. I think you go down by half slabs. And I mean, we could just do it differently too. We could probably do just normal stairs, but the half slabs look pretty cool. So I think it's like this, right? Like from this lock, I think it goes down like that. And then you would have another one here, I believe. Let's see, would we come down perfectly like this though? 
Does it kind of have to go sideways or could we go... Yeah, it would, it would have to be sideways, right? Yeah. So it would be like this, right? And then we'd be down at this level again. So it, it fits perfectly, right? So like every time you put these three down, you can eventually come down to the perfect level again. So that's that's kind of the cool thing about this. Now to fix this, I think we did something like this. Maybe. Do I like them like this? Again, we can decide how, how things should be. You know, this style would actually work really well for a desert place, I think. I always want to build desert places, but I have trouble making them look kind of good. But this would work well, because desert houses are super simple, right? Like, they have always a very square look to it. And just having, like, a ton of them around is what makes them really cool looking. Okay, so like this. Let me go get some uh, more fences here. And then we put down them um, like this, I think. Something like this. Should work, maybe. And then you go up here, and again, we have the half steps on this side too. I mean, there's nothing here, but the cool thing now is, you know, we can like continue this way and just have an upper level, for example, right? We can have like a balcony here that just hangs over the bottom layer. And this is something I love. I, I don't do this a lot either, where I like interconnecting bases on or general like buildings where there's a lot of like going up and down and across and under the knees and it all connects at a certain point and it's just like a almost like a labyrinth or something as a base. I think it's super interesting. So we can put down some uh, things here. Uh, this we can leave, you know, we could put down torches for now, doesn't matter. Uh, is this, yeah, this is pretty, pretty neat. And then we will come around here again. Just make this super quick. Uh huh. Amazing placement. Once more. Go go away, flower. And I mean, we could we could maybe you know leave these like this, those blocks. But it would probably be look, probably look better if they are uh, different blocks. So like this, right? Uh, again, you can you can block this off. But uh, you know, it's already like somewhat interesting looking. You know, it's already like kind of interconnected. There's height differences. You know, they're very basic, uh, you know, buildings, and they're pretty much the same colors and stuff. It, there is some interesting stuff already going on. I find uh, maybe we could even do it. Like in this case, we could like increase the height here slightly, and then have them across here as well. You know, just to have like this little gap here. We could maybe put these in a the corner, make this look a bit interesting. Just a bunch of fences up there. We could put banners down. Um, could have done torches on the sides here too if you wanted to. Or maybe something hanging down. Just trying to figure out. Maybe it even looks better if we keep these. I don't know. Do we like this more or do we like want to have them separated every single time? Like this. I don't know what looks more interesting. We could also... You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, something I see some people do sometimes that looks kind of cool is just take out a couple of things here and uh, A, put down some lower ones or we can take stairs again and just like put these down in a weird position like this, you know? And so it's a little bit more riggedy. It's a bit more annoying to run over if it's like a half slap kind of thing, you dip down. Uh, so maybe using the stairs might be a bit more interesting and I think this will look better like this. But, you know, you could also put in some patches of other wood, for example. I think I think this is going to be kind of cool. I mean, even here, maybe that, you know, just make it look a little bit nicer. With a, with a stair just in between, we can fill this in. Uh, one thing we could do here is, let me see... Oh, this, you know what? I just had a cool idea. This this is going to be nice. Um, just trying to figure out how I want to do this. I mean, we have chisel and bits too, right? So we can deal with that too. But what I'm just thinking is we can have a, like a water stream running down here, you know? Like some, some water that just goes underneath the stairs and like also these platforms because they're raised. And then we can look down into the water stream if you have like tiny holes. Yeah, something like this. Just like a little bit of water going down there. I uh, probably would replace this too with something else, but um, maybe even in this case you would want something like this. Would this look cool? Yeah, it's kind of cool. You can still see through, you know, but 
uh, there's a lot of flower, but like it's more interesting, but you can't go there. I think that's kind of cool. And again, you can just like create a pass up here, connect our base to it. So it's like somewhat connected. And yeah, so I think this is kind of cool. I, I like it. I'm having fun laying these out, which is what I was looking forward to. See if this is something I want to do. Um, so I think I'm going to maybe just spend some time here laying out some things. See what I can come up with. And then we can decorate this. Obviously, you know, one of the easiest things to decorate is, again, leaves. You know, like even just this kind of little bit here, putting it down, already looks nice. We can put banners down. We can put some, like color somewhere with wool and stuff trying to figure out what else again trap those maybe somewhere you know to make things look interesting i don't know how well that would work maybe even like this if it's like an overhang or something or maybe something that's down more i don't know we'll figure out something so i think it's cool we, we'll, we'll we'll try this out and then the cool thing is you know if we need room for like immersive engineering or something we can just build multiple of these houses connect them into like a two by two and then we have a bigger room right and we don't have to worry too much about decorating these because we know we just want to keep them very simple i'm probably going to try out to use a different floor though instead of the oak because again it's too much oak for my liking but i am quite happy with the potential of this i think so all right, guys, again, I'm not sure when or how often I'm going to upload these videos. I do try to get back to this, but again, if I don't enjoy it, if I'm like just not, uh, you know, don't have any ideas, we'll uh, we'll have to wait, I guess. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.